Hello dear students, how are you doing? Today I'm going to teach you different words related to the word head. Do you know the meaning of big-headed? Big-headed people. Big-headed people. Head shake. Head shake. Header girls and other words. I have prepared for you some English words that are related to the word head. Try to follow this lesson. You are going to get more skills from it. Big-headed people. You are going to know the meaning of big-headed people. Are they people who have big heads? What's the meaning of big-headed people? That is what you are going to be looking at. Before, I would like to show you the books of English. These are English books that can help you speak English very well. Try to buy them. Another thing is try to come and learn English language. We know we get each on Jereza. That is good. And I would like to remind you of subscribing. Do you really need to get our lessons? Each and every time, every day, when, whenever we upload them, try to subscribe to our channel. I am Teacher Jasper, the one who is going to help you understand the lesson. Let me direct you immediately here to the lesson. Before I teach you this lesson, I would like to show you the word of today. Today's word is this one, which is conceited. What is the meaning of conceited? A conceited person or conceited people, these are people who show off. These are people who are proud of themselves. These people are called conceited. Conceited people. People who are arrogant. These people are conceited. Conceited people. These are conceited people. The opposite of conceited, ichinyura nyocha conceited, no munuri humble, changwa modest. Modest or humble are the opposite of conceited. Nice. Then please let me start. I'm going to start the lesson now. Let me start with the word big headed people. What is the meaning of big headed people? Big headed people. Big-headed people are arrogant people or conceited. Mwango abano vira rira viye mera abano vira ata to be the big-headed. Changwa abano vasuzugura to be the big-headed people. Hmm? Abano vafte kiburi. You know kiburi? Unajua kiburi? Katika kiswahili? Eh kiburi abano vahora na kiburi abano vumba yuko viyumba vumba kuba renza band to be the big-headed. Big-headed people. These people are called arrogant or conceited. Conceited. Example, you can say, these people are big-headed. I don't get along with them. These people are big-headed. I don't get along with them. To get along with, to have a friendly relationship with someone. When you have a friendly relationship with the people, you are getting along with them. Yes. Which means that to get along with this one, these people are big-headed. I don't get along with them. Which means that I can't have a friendly relationship with them. So That is to get along with big-headed. Are you a big-headed person? I say, urumunu wirata, urumunu wiyumba. This is not good. Yes, if you are big-headed people, try to get rid of that. If you do what it goes, try to be humble, try to be modest. Yeah, it will help you so much in life. Nice. Then, please, these are big-headed people. A big-headed man, a big-headed girl, a big-headed woman, a big-headed person. If you just show a Last week I saw a big headed man or a big headed woman. Nice. Like here, yesterday I met 
a big headed man ejo na huye numuntu wiyumva koko yes Ye yesterday i met a big headed man or woman nice then the second word is head shake head shake ni isinye ha nuba ngo shora gukora head shake wapinza umuntu wamefiye umuntu udashaka no kumwumva kagira uti umuntu akakubaza ati my friend uh, how are you doing ukamwereka ukamureba nk'ikimbwa yanze uzunguza umutwe that is uh, we, we call it head shake a head shake is a shake of the head usually signifying distrust or denial ni ni nukwango nukuzunguza umutwe ugaragaza ko ugaragaza gasuzuguro wenda cyangwa se denial denial ni chi kuteme ikintu runaka for example i can say uh, do you have uh, do you have cold water here muftamaza konje you are a waiter urumu urumu server ugetumbira uti urumva ntushaka no kuvuga that is a kind of this fact you are an arrogant person yeah instead of saying oh uh, please sir we don't have cold water ugetuvuga ugetugira uti utanavuga most of the time umuntu ukoresheje head shake abagaragaje agasuzuguro head shake for example you can say she gave me a head shake after asking her about her boyfriend yes yaise ni ama head shake she gave me a head shake yanyeretse ko tutari kumwe after asking her about her boyfriend maze kumwe kumubaza ibyo umusore bakundana she gave me a head shake after asking her about her boyfriend that is a head shake head shake it's a sign of denial or distrust ba ushora no no kugaragaza head shake ugira utya werekana ko ibyo bintu bidahari ariko it's better to speak kuko umuntu mukura kubajije ukagira gutya i think it is not good keretse mufitanye sinye udashaka no kuvuga wenda urahantu eh hatakwemerera kuvuga yes good that is head shake try to use the word head shake in english language to shake the head the, yeah it comes from shaking the head head shake to shake ni kugira gute kuzunguza shake your body zunguza umubiri that is to shake eh? shake then head shake bisobanura iki kuzunguza umutwe ugaragaza agasuzuguro cyangwa ko ibyo bintu ri kubihakana good let us continue this is the third the third word which is a a header goal what is the meaning of a header goal a header here a header goal a header goal this is a goal scored by using a head yes when players are in the playground they may score goals by using a head or their heads then this is a header goal header goal ni gitego cy'umutwe tukita a header goal i am trying to to explain this to people who always watch football or who like watching football then a header goal ni gitego cy'umutwe we call it a header goal for example you can say last week jay scored a header goal last week jay this person who is called jay scored a header goal mu cyumweru cyashize jay yatsinze igitego cy'umutwe it's like this eh eh header goal that is a header goal the ball is coming yes to your dire direction then you do this that is a header a header goal header goals always impress fans bibishatse bango ibitego by'umutwe akenshi cyane cyane buri giye bishimisha iki abafana header goals always impress fans good then that is a header go goal then uh, the the fourth word is this one which is heads of states heads of states heads of states heads of states are also called heads of government heads of government heads of government bisobanura abakuru bibihugu heads of states or heads of government heads of states heads of government good you can say shakubuguti most of african heads of states were in rwanda last month most of african heads of states were in rwanda 
last month ni wo kuvuga ngo abakuru bibihugu benshi benshi mu bakuru bibihugu bya Afrika bari bari mu Rwanda mu kwezi gushize most of african heads of state were in Rwanda last month good both heads of state had tete a tete last year in june both heads of state had tete a tete last year in june tete a tete this is a discussion between two people it's a private discussion a private conversation between two people we call it tete a tete nibango ibiganiro biri hagati yabantu babiri gusa tugita tete a tete a private conversation or discussion between two people this private conversation is called tate a tate yes then you can say both heads of states had tate a tate last year in june abakuru bibihugu bombi bagiranye ibiganiro byihariye last year umwaka ushize in june mu kwezi kwa gatandatu that is that is heads of state heads of state twabonye kwa rabakuru bibihugu then tete a tete ni biganiro by'abantu babiri byihariye white headed people what is the meaning of white headed people white headed people are people with hair or white hair on their head yes people with white hair white here we have the word wa white people with wa white hair on their head yes abantu bafite imisatsi y'umweru ku mutwe wabo cyangwa ku mitwe yabo tubita white headed people yes white headed people bishora kuba rimvi cyangwa yari ishyizeho ibyo bintu wenda ariko akaba afite umusatsi wera ubwo tuzamwita white headed for example you can say that white headed man was given an award yesterday that white headed man that white headed man was given an award yesterday uriya mugabo ufite umusatsi wera ufite umutwe uri humusatsi wera yahawe impano byari cyangwa igihembo yesterday yahawe igihembo ejo hashes that white headed man was given an award yesterday uriya mugabo ufite umusatsi wera ku mutwe yahawe igihembo ejo hashes yes please you should understand big headed people big headed people you should under, understand head shake the meaning of head shake you should know yes this is big headed people this is head shake you should know the meaning and you should use this word in your english language mucyongereza cyawe try to use this word every, every day it is going to help you you should know how to use uh, the word a header goal header goal oh ese ejo yatsinze gute ya it was a header goal hmm? he headed to head the ball no kugira gute to head the ball to head the ball no gukubita nyine umupira umutwe hmm? yes she likes to head the ball akunda gutera umutwe umupira koresheje umutwe that is a header goal rero kikabigitego cy'umutwe then the next one is the heads of states abakuru bibihugu then the last one of today is white headed people white headed people my dear friends ladies and gentlemen dear students pan lovers i would like to remind you of these five words you should know them eh nashaka kubibutsa izi five words ni ingenzi ugomba kuzimenya kugira ngo ukomeze uzamure level yawe mu biki mu bijyanye no kumenya amagambo menshi y'icyongereza then after getting this lesson you know that we give you the message of the day then let's continue with the message of the day nyuma isomo dukomeze no butumwa bw'umunsi my dear student dear pan lovers my friend this message is for you ubutumwa nubwawe in english we say you should never doubt yourself never say that i can't do what my neighbor is doing 
Am I able to do what my friend is doing? Am I able to start this business? Never say that. Never doubt yourself. Nuka vujengo, esenda shogo ye. Kuba nange na akore bju mutura nyakora. Kuba na tanjiri ye business. Never doubt, my dear. Kuko yu tanje kuishidika nyaho, uba watanje kuchiki nheji. Watanje kumanuka hazi. Do you see? Then, when you stop doubting yourself, iyo urete kuishidika nyaho, you get a chance to see what you are capable of doing. When you stop doubting yourself, you get a chance to see what you are You get a chance to see what you are capable of doing. You get a chance to see what you I can't do it like that. Eh? Like that person. I can't uh, be able to, to produce this like that one. I can't be able to do this like my neighbors, as my neighbors are doing. Which means that you are doubting yourself. Which means that it is not good, my dear. Never doubt yourself. When you stop doubting yourself, you get a chance to see what you are capable of doing. Vero, you should never and ever. I am Teacher Jasper. We are together. And I would like to remind you of subscribing. Try to subscribe. Kanda kuri subscribe ubona masomo yacho. Bye bye and buy these books.